Welcome in another part of leveling series. If you made this far congratulations on reaching level 30. All you have to do now is to repair your current rods that we used in previous episode, purchase more hooks, and new bait. We will also need a titanium leader but we will purchase it in the fishery shop once we get there. If you are low on hooks, go ahead and buy 2 or 0 to 4 or 0 barbless hooks, anything in this range will be fine. For our new bait we will use shiners. Always purchase extra bait as we cannot purchase it at the fishery shop. I would recommend buying at least 300 pieces. We also need to replace our mono leader with new titanium leader. We will do this once we get to the fishery as we can purchase it at the fishery store. So once you got your bait and hooks, go ahead and purchase advance license for Michigan. We want to start at the woods of the eastern bank. Once we are here, we want to follow the path all the way to the end as you can see in the video. Before we start fishing we still need to purchase new titanium leaders. These will be the first titanium leaders available at the fishery shop. We will be fishing only in this one area, and all we have to do is to cast all of our rods behind the lilies. Even though there are numerous species in this lake, we will only focus on Northern Pike. Northern Pike pays really well for every pound fish you catch and it's the fastest way to farm money at your current level. We will only be fishing here at day peak times and it will take around 45 minutes to fill your net, so you don't have to worry about spending bait coins to fast forward the time. Even though it will take us longer to fill the net compared to previous location, we will be earning a lot more cash per day. One thing you need to remember, and that is if you hook a unique northern pike, chances are that he will most likely bite off your line. Please do not worry about this and if that happens simply replace your leader and bait and carry on fishing. The rods that we are using are minimum and if you want to catch unique northern pike you will have to upgrade your rods to stronger ones. I will not recommend you any rods at this point as we will stay here for only few hours. However you should keep in mind that this place is a very popular spot and it's a go-to location when it comes to farming money. And you can come back here every time you are low on cash, just bear in mind that with our current rods the farming process might be little slow, and it is recommended to use stronger rods when farming cash so we can catch more fish every hour. Our goal here is to gather at least 100,000 in cash and reach level 34. Like in real life some days are better than others. If you're not getting bites, simply fast forward time to next day, just keep in mind, that this will cost you bait coins. The average time to fill your net as I mentioned before will be around 45 minutes. Don't fish here at night, and do not fish here when raining. Most of the time you will have multiple bites in the same time, so make sure you keep an eye on the end of your rods. If you see low tension on the tip of your rods, change rods immediately using shift plus 1, 2, 3, for keys on your keyboard. This will allow you to quickly swap between your rods and prevent fish from escaping. Other than that, this is very cool and enjoyable place to fish, and you will have lots of fun fishing here. As you notice by now, we are using the same rods that we first purchased at the start of this guide. I would like to inform you, that we will be using the exact same rods when we reach level 34 to farm sturgeon. The cash that we are collecting will be used to purchase new keep net, bait and pay for the travel costs and license only. As you can see, the higher the level we get the more expensive everything gets. So if you want to progress fast in this game, make sure to spend multiple days fishing without leaving the fishery. Once you gathered at least 100,000 in cash and are at least level 34, you can go ahead and leave the fishery. First thing you want to do after leaving Michigan is to purchase new bait. This time we will be using large cut bait, so go ahead and purchase 200 to 300 pieces as we cannot purchase large cut bait at the fishery shop. You also want to repair only one of your current rods as we will use only one rod. We also want to replace our current leader with mono leader 14.3 pounds test. That's the same leader that we used in previous episodes. Next you want to purchase 4 is 0 barbless hooks. 
And it's now time to buy our first kayak. Kayaks are great in comparison to boats as you have less drag on the water and you can land fish quickly. We will be using this advantage to land sturgeon in California in no time. Finally the last thing we need, a keep net. For now we will purchase the Fish Fort S, however we will have to upgrade this as soon as we reach level 40. Once you equipped all your new gear go ahead and purchase advanced license for California. We will start at the Foggy Sanctuary. There are various ways to farm sturgeon, I will show you the easiest way to start so we can progress faster. Later you can decide what method you want to use. I also have to inform you that this is the longest grind in Fishing Planet and a best place to farm experience up to level 50. Like it or not you will be spending here a lot of time in coming weeks, but not to be worry. Once you reach level 40 and get bigger keep net, I will show you some alternatives, but for now let's just focus on sturgeon. There are few locations where you can catch sturgeon, and I will show you all of them. We will be fishing only at night and only from the kayak. The way it works is very simple. All you have to do is to cast at the marker and you will catch two sturgeon in relatively short period of time. After catching two fish you can move to another marker and catch another two, or stay at the same place and fast forward the time two hours. Forwarding time will reset the timer for your recently caught fish and you will be able to catch another two pretty much straight away. If you want to stay here and just fast forward time or move all around the lake and catch two fish on every spot, before forwarding time is up to you. You can also check YouTube for more sturgeon farm videos as I mentioned before there are various ways for doing it, and you might want to check all available options. Just follow the guide for now to start fishing here and use kayak. I did test and you can actually catch the same amount of fish with one rod and kayak, than average player with four rods when fishing from the shore, as you don't have to fight the fish, plus you are getting increased experience for using lower level setup when fishing from kayak. Moving around might get little irritating when you first start, but like I said this is only so you can start fishing here. You will also notice that some of the fish caught are too big for our current keep net. That's because the game trying to force us to purchase a bigger net using bait coins or purchase DLC for real cash. If you don't want to spend any money simply wait until level 40 and purchase bigger keep net then. You are still getting experience for catching the fish and you will make enough cash to comfortably save and repair your gear. So we might be missing on some cash it's still fine to fish here and benefit from good experience gains. Try not to skip the video as I'm sharing the markers that you will need to farm here. Now once you know all the secrets to sturgeon farm I will go around the lake and show you all the markers. If you have any questions make sure to leave a comment and I will be more than happy to help you. Wish you good luck and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video.
Here is alternative to sturgeon farm, just make sure you have at least level 40 keepnet, so you can keep all the fish caught.